Hello, I'm John Bradley. Welcome to my studio. We'll, um, we'll start by getting some colour onto the board. That colour, you can actually see the pencil lines showing through if you're worried about losing them. In my case, I'm not too worried about it, but I'll do it nonetheless just to show the example of what I'm talking about. In behind here, we're going to have foliage. So I'll throw a little bit in there, quite so green at this point. Fairly easy stuff? No problem. Reflections, just to remind me to put them back in. And we'll clean those up at a later stage. Knock that back a bit. Time. So, a nice old ratty looking fan brush. We'll take a little bit of that colour we used in here. And I'm just going to whisk that up over the now dry areas to create a splash of sunlight coming in here. We don't want it too bright so that it takes away from the main area of focus. But you'll notice that everything has been engineered, if you like, to call it a better word, to create brightness here, 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 here. So the eye has to be drawn into that area. We have some of our strongest contrasts, um, both colour-wise and value-wise, and this is all engineered, as I say, to bring the viewer up the river and into the focal point. There's a bit more work to be done in there we mentioned earlier. I'll just whisk a little bit of the grass colour and shadow now back into here. Obviously different people's painting techniques will may well be this is overworked even here. They might just want to use a big broad brush and smack it in but I guess what we're trying to do is to show you how I do it, how I see it and hopefully there may be something in that the painters who are watching it can use and for those who simply like art